All right, folks. This is the final weekend of the auto cannons and rocket barrages that basically melts your health in like five seconds, or a constant detrack for another rocket barrage, usually from two artilleries. Wonderful mode. <laughs> so stick to the buildings, stick to cover. But this mode has been pretty much all right. The only downside to it is the double whammy with a bunch of tomato players as well as the mission parameter of you having to win the battle for the bonds. You don't get crew XP, free XP or credits out of this mode. Nothing. Only thing is winning the mission or winning the actual battle for the bonds. So might be a little bit toxic. You have to play like 20 battles to win 10 times for the 400 bonds per week. So three weeks of this, it's all right, but most of the vehicle seems pretty much balanced-ish. I mean, there are a few vehicles that might have a few problems, like the Storm Gesheld's E100 might be a little bit too slow against the meta of two artilleries, the Batcha artillery with the rockets, but stick to buildings. So I still preferring to play with the homemade Shoka or the TVP T5051, practically a checkmade ZSU 57-2. So auto cannons or anti-aircraft auto cannons practically but it's been all right it's been fine the only downside like i said is winning the battle but makes you appreciate the actual velocity show velocity of apcr rounds at about almost twice or at least 1.5 times the 750 meters per second show velocity so yeah rocket barrage is not fun <laughs> Homei Shoka bites the dust, but it's alright. It's been a fine mode. It's also funny how Wargaming is using the actual live server as the common test server. So nobody actually plays the common test. Might as well put this as an arcade mode on the live server for you to test out the new features like night mode or maybe the dynamic objects and stuff. So practically common test. On the live server but yeah i mean uh, consistency is more important about the auto cannons like what you see right here shooting at a target at about 300 meters 400 meters kind of difficult with the, the dispersion after you fired the first shot but it has a better accuracy on the tvp t5051 the auto cannon version so it has less rounds at about 25 rounds per clip compared to the 200 on the homemade Shoka, but eh, yeah, I mean, you're not shooting at aircrafts or trucks or soft targets like infantry, so that's the best you get. So usually I think this gun is more useful on a fast vehicle like a Sheridan or EBR or even a medium tank. If it's put into the current meta, Hmm, I would say it's only useful for mostly an aggressive flanker of a vehicle playstyle. It's not that useful on a Yo tank or a heavy tank like a mouse or E100. So it's only useful for fast vehicle to flank around and chase down like light tanks or sometimes medium without armor. But eh, it's okay, I guess. So we have to see with the actual check version of the light tank for the actual live server or the current tech tree vehicles, but it's alright. I don't think it's that game breaking. I don't think it's like Armor Warfare for now. Armor Warfare originally had the auto cannons on tank destroyers, I believe, and they will deal a lot of damage to even main battle tanks if you get to the rear. So they actually nerfed the penetration of Armor Warfare's auto cannons, and then people start using high explosive AP rounds which basically turns them into high explosive rounds but you're just peppering without actually penetrating so yeah fun times <laughs> the freaking Terminator or even the Weasel all have auto cannons they're just insane damage if you get to the rear of main battle tanks and usually you can so dealing tons of damage to the ass and engine damage and fire Speaking of which, I feel the module damage on the auto cannons are kind of subpar. You don't see that much ammo rack damage, crew damage, or fire with the auto cannons. 
So I usually just get detracted and that's practically it, but... Uh, <laughs> so winning this mode is keeping your artillery alive, practically. So chase off your opponent's artillery with the light tanks or sometimes medium tanks, but as long as you have artillery, as long as you keep them safe from their light tanks or their EBRs or even the Sheridan or medium tanks, then you'll be fine. But otherwise, it's a it's a it's a shit show, <laughs> a clown fiesta of tomatoes trying to snipe with the auto cannons. Yeah, <laughs> give us other stuff to shoot at like bunkers or no you're not shooting bunkers with a machine gun <laughs> or planes or bombers yeah fine but you're shooting at armor with a anti-aircraft machine gun yeah okay so which vehicle do I recommend while playing this mode well let's go through the list the Sheridan feels all right on the common test but in the world of EBRs, kind of lackluster compared to the 40mm Bofors EBR, right? So Sheridan seems a little bit sluggish compared to the cars, obviously. But play the cars, play the EBR to chase down artillery. That seems kind of fun. I prefer the Shoka, the Object 140, not the T-54 based homemade Shoka or the TVP T5051 with the twin barrel 57 millimeters. So these two are most medium tank wolf packing of the lineup. But slow vehicles I don't really recommend because of artillery barrage. Like with the Storm Gashalt's E100, the Yak Panzer E100 converted, or the Flak Mouse. So especially the Flak Mouse. You have the health, you have the twin barrel 88, but you get picked off by artillery barrage. And usually there are two artilleries based on the queue. Also, I don't recommend the artillery, mostly because the queue time is way too long. And it's boring to me, but if you want to play it, then go ahead. It will be funny if they don't put artillery view mode into playing with that vehicle. So you have to go direct fire mode with the batch artillery, rocket barrage. That would be kind of hilarious, but they put artillery mode. So, oh well. So the most consistent one is likely the medium tanks I would say the yo tank the thunderclap it has decent armor and decent mobility compared to the mouse or compared to the storm gush lt100 but the downside to it is it doesn't do that much uh, eh, it doesn't do that it doesn't do damage period <laughs> overheating mechanic is the only applied concept to that vehicle otherwise eh, if that thing doesn't have the overheating, it has a lot of ammo to go through. So that's the only downside to that vehicle. But still has bunny ear weak spots for the drum, um, the sides of the turret. So that is the weak spot as well as the side armor and rear armor, yada yada. And if you do get detracked, the reserve track doesn't really help you that much. I mean, you'll be artillery spammed. So yeah, I would suggest the medium tanks mostly or play the EBR for fun. But the TVP T5051 has the better burst damage per clip. So usually they burst about 1600 DPM. Whereas the Shoka, the Object 140, bursts about 700 to 1000 or so. But otherwise, usually that's about the same ballpark. The Mouse will burst about 1500 damage. Whereas the Yak Panzer E100 will burst about 900 or so. It has better armor than the Mouse, but otherwise... It's still just as slow. So, yeah. I mean, thank God, Arturi Barrage does not have stun effect. That will be super toxic. <laughs> but yeah, this mode is alright. I mean, play this mode, get the funds in, I guess, or get the bonds, and that's practically it. So, we don't have, our, we don't have aircraft to shoot at. Not really, but you can see the damage burst out of the 57-2. 1,700 damage burst <laughs> out of the twin barrel. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. So basically, two shots or two bursts a medium tank practically or the light tanks, but yeah, play around buildings, play around slow vehicles like the mouse, tons of damage, <laughs> high behind cover. So usually you take about 100, 300 damage 
if you get caught out, but you still could go back into cover. But as long as you have cover, you'll be fine. So team up with your teammates, pick off scarier targets like the mouse or the yo tanks, ASAP, or even the EBRs if they're going for your artillery. But keep your artillery safe, it's very important. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you'll be picked off pretty quick. Oh, there you go, folks. It's a fine mode, it's alright. I have fun. So, it goes to show you what they're capable of at doing in wargaming, but it still takes a while for this to actually reach the live server. It will take about at least six months. So, god, development is kinda slow for the amount of funding they have. <laughs> it's like, it takes like freaking four patches for a few new maps takes like a bunch of patches for vehicle rebalance or a new mechanic for that matter so yeah it's pretty slow compared to original development of like the Waffen Traegers we had like five tech tree per year back in 2010s or 2011s 12s but jeez it's fine, I guess. Well, there you go, folks. Hopefully, you guys enjoy overwhelming fire with the auto cannons and the rocket barrages. But as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Ah!